Wow, Philip, it took a video about the uh, homeless t uh, tent city to drag me out of the replied train trudges. Um, my name is Saul. I go by whatever you're seeing here on the internet. And I used to be homeless. And I might be homeless very soon or houseless, depending on how you want to describe it. Those are two different things. And uh, we've also uh, had tent city things going on here in lovely Minneapolis, Minnesota, the United States of America, your neighbors of the South. Um, I see that at least where you are in Canada, they handle things with homelessness the same way that they handle things here in most of the United States, where they just keep shuffling homeless people around and kicking them out of parks and not giving them any alternatives on where to go. There aren't enough services, there aren't enough shelters, and the shelters don't necessarily mean people will get the help that they need. Um, it's a matter of shuffling people around and what that person said to you at the very end about there being a, an industrial, uh, an industry, there is a, a homeless industrial complex. There are people that are profiting off of keeping people homeless. Um, it may not necessarily be the city because they keep shuffling people around because being homeless is unsightly. Um, it's not just the drug use, it's, it's the poverty. It's, it's, the, it's the tent city itself, whether they were doing drugs there or not. Um, regardless of who's there, nobody wants to see the poverty, especially not right out next to their condos and their homes and whatnot. Um, people lose sight of what it's like to be thankful because they, there are a lot of people who have never lost before. Like, maybe that person I can, uh, you were with, um, I don't know that person, obviously, but that I've yet to see anyone with any real good intentions ask questions like, do you think people are too comfortable here? That is spoken like someone who has never been displaced at, at one day in their life. If you wouldn't go to someone's home and ask them if they're too comfortable, don't do it to someone sleeping in a park. It doesn't make any sense. Why shouldn't someone be comfortable? Think about that before you ask someone that question. Why should, why should someone's productivity be their value and be how much dignity, respect, and basic needs that they are worth? Why is that? Ask yourself that question first before you ask if someone sleeping in a camper or a tent with a bunch of tarps out in the rain if they're too comfortable. That blackface guy, we don't claim him. I'm obviously not amused by that. Um, of course, there's no such thing as canceling that person because he's not much to, he's not a, you have to be an influential figure to be canceled, right? But um, I know you were joking, but Racism is racism, no matter, blackface is unacceptable. And he's probably going to get his ass kicked if he already hasn't. And he might be too entrenched in whatever mental health issues that he's having to understand why what he's doing is wrong. And that's probably something that you noticed. Mental health and chemical addictions and um, large displaced families, um, those are usually the things that make up a lot of tent cities. Um, large families also don't have anywhere to go because they don't want to be separated or for whatever medical or mental reasons, they can't be separated. Um, every tent city is different and at the same time, every tent city is the same. It's, it's made up of the same people. Um, the people who have the campers are especially fortunate. It's the people in the tents that, um... I don't want to say they need more care, but it's kind of like they do need more care because their housing is uh, less stable in structure. Of course, people have their ways of making it work. Um, there are people out here in tents in winter in Minneapolis, very cold, making it work. Um, but the, the less you have, the rougher it definitely is. It's hard to insulate. It's hard to keep warm, all that. Um, and the reason why I'm making this is 
what what initially got me off on this was that person asking that question because that's that's offensive. That that's more offensive than well no I should blackface is fucking historical but like hey punching down on poor people is also historical. Um, what what that other person said about capitalism that shit's very real, and some people feel it to different effects than others and it is straight up classist capitalism to ask just because is is because people have a sense of stability are they too comfortable that's so gross that's gross um so yeah i i can tell that you received a great amount of education from the people that um that are currently in that situation um and thank you for always expanding your mindset and always being willing to learn about different people. That's what, that's what drew me to your channel. Um, I'm sure I can safely speak for some people, not all, but some, your, your, your sense of diversity and who you interact with. You're basically internet Jesus. Like I'm not a Christian, so I live and let live, but like, Hey, Jesus hung out with the lepers. Jesus hung out with the criminals. Jesus hung out with the prostitutes. Um, I'm just saying I'm seeing some similarities and um but yeah and I and I'm not shitting on you for what someone else said um that person is responsible for their for their own whatever but yeah take care